ahead of a tropical storm that is forecast to bring intense rains and strong winds to the peninsula within days, South Korea is evacuating thousands of teenage participants from the World Scout Jamboree in the southwest to safer locations near the capital. The evacuation is the latest blow to the 10-day Jamboree after hundreds fell ill due to a heat wave earlier. Over 1,000 buses are being deployed to move 36,000 scouts from 150 countries ahead of Typhoon Kwanun, which devastated southern Japan and is expected to hit South Korea. India has banned domestic manufacturers of military drones from using Chinese components for security reasons. According to a report by the Reuters news agency, the measures come amid India's efforts to modernize its military, which includes the use of unmanned quadcopters and autonomous systems. Meanwhile, there are concerns that intelligence gathering could be compromised by Chinese-made parts in the drone's communication functions, cameras, radio transmission and operating software. In a major development in the genocide of Kashmiri Pandits, the Jammu and Kashmir State Investigation Agency has started its investigation into the 33-year-old murder case of retired judge Neil Kant Ganju, a Kashmiri Pandit who was shot dead by terrorists in a targeted attack in the valley in 1989. He was killed after he sentenced JKLF founder Muhammad Makbul Bhatt to death in a 1960s murder case. Meanwhile, SIA also asked the public for more information to uncover a larger criminal conspiracy behind the targeted killing of the Kashmiri Pandit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired the BJP's parliamentary party meeting ahead of the no-confidence debate scheduled in the lower house of parliament today. Several senior party leaders including JP Nadda, Ashwini Vaishnav and Mansukh Mandviya attended the meeting. According to sources, PM Modi slammed the opposition saying it is full of distrust to show this. They have brought a no-confidence motion. Delhi government handed over the charge of the service and vigilance department to Public Works Department Minister Atishi from Health Minister Saurabh Bharadwaj. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal forwarded the proposal to Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena. The move comes following parliamentary approval of the Delhi Services Bill granting centre control over the capital's bureaucracy. Indian men's hockey team secured a semi-final spot in Asian Champions Trophy, defeating South Korea to 3-2. After the win, Mandeep Singh, who scored a goal in the match, said that the boys defended well and the team needed to win this match. On Wednesday, the eagerly anticipated India vs Pakistan game will take place. The 2023 Asian Champions Trophy round-robin match will be India's last game. <laughs> 